So what the day entails, friends, I have no idea. And now your friend is gonna do one of her favorite things in homeschool and life, which is write on the mirror. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> we are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. And um, today, your friend just got back from the dentist. So I'm trying to move my mouth around because so that it doesn't feel stuck anymore. Hands down, the worst part of dental work is having to keep your mouth open for such a long period of time. It's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, the kids actually planned out their time. It was a two hour block that planned what they were gonna be spending their time doing while I was at the dentist. So I came back, Brian said that they did a really good job sticking to what their goals were um, and what they had planned in their planners. Uh, so Kendall and Savannah are outside. Cameron, I think, is playing Legos in the um, schoolroom slash playroom. And today is a very special day because it is our first day of, first official day of our gap year. So I figured I would um, try not to put too much pressure on it. The thing about it is like, first day of school things is always supposed to be a production. We don't want this to be that, we want, it to be nice and calm and easy and I figured I would just kind of document my thoughts and feelings through the day and show you guys kind of a few things a little bit of what I did to prep for um, today started a juice cleanse this week um, I'm doing a three-day juice cleanse because I need my mind and my body to feel up to the task like Lego things were happening looks like somebody may have grabbed snacks this is something that I definitely wanted to get back into which is packing their lunches or at least like the snack part of their lunches because I just think it is always a good idea I've got their bags all packed with gap year goodies um, I have our chore chart and our rewards chart um, I walk through this on our friends club exactly how how that's all laid out and broken down and that our seven day reading challenge and we pick our reading stacks to start the week out with which are over on my cart over here but I just like to have them up here for good reference and then I will show you what we have inside. So I just got all the same bags this time around. Savannah has a big girl backpack just like her brothers. I wanted there to be plenty of room for them to fit all of their things. And just for a quick overview, I share like all of the breakdown of exactly what we have in our friends club, but just wanted to show you what it looks like here. So we've got their headphones are here. Their notebook is here. We are pretty much a full on 100% digital homeschool type of family, but I do like to have notebooks just in case they get a little tired of writing out things on their iPads. And then that way we can always um, scan or take a picture and log it inside of their devices. Then we have their, um, this is their sketchbook and I have their journals for the year. And then inside of here, is their pencil case which again if you want to see all the details of exactly you know what everybody has and what we're putting inside of it and all of that other stuff that's the type of stuff I share on our friends club added their specific resource books that we've planned out into their little morning baskets which are really just not for just the morning they're just kind of um, their resources that are specific to what they are working through right now. So basically, most of prepping for the year has come in the form of just decluttering and organizing things so that everything is pretty easily accessible for all of the things that they would get into. Then over here in this corner, we have their weekly checklist and our list of curriculum choices just for easy reference. And this is also where they'll drop things off, little, you know, kind of like mommy's teacher's box style. We also have a teacher's box in their digital folders on their iPads. 
We also have our sign that I'm super excited about. Welcome to the Falco Family's Gap Year, 001 of 365. It's so cute. So what the day entails, friends, I have no idea. But I'm going to look to my <laughs> block schedule to figure out how we decided we were going to allocate our time. And this is how I am going to at least try to give a little bit of purpose to different time periods during our day. So right now, we are right in the thick of our Falco family work time. And that might include filming, writing, storyboarding, just anything that has to do with the current project that we're working on and i'm gonna go try to collect my thoughts and figure out what that is for today good morning it you want to get over there with your brother so i can interview for the first day of gap year there's no space well this is my lego building oh so how did your schedule go this morning be clearly this year, one of our main focuses and goals for the year is to really improve in our public speaking skills. So that starts with you speaking more. <laughs> one of our biggest goals in the gap year is to really uh, put our hands to a lot of the projects that we started and give them our full attention. Um, and to go along with that, we really want to improve upon the way we communicate. Um, we spent the last several years really working on our reading life and it is amazing now I want to focus in on our writing and our communication skills like working on and developing that skill of being able to communicate our thoughts and ideas so throughout this year we are really going to document how where we started and where we end up um, all the way up to day 365. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to sit in front of a camera and um, beautifully communicate our thoughts and ideas. So you are about to watch little bits and pieces of the process and um, I'm really excited about the growth that is ahead and the progress that we'll make and all of the projects that we will complete and put our hands to and add to our resumes. So y'all better cheer for my babies. <laughs> as we work through the kinks and stumble in front of the camera in order to get better and better learning how to communicate all the goodness that's inside of us. So we planned our schedule for today, last night. <clears throat> we got in some Lego building and then I went to do some film study. I kind of messed up the schedule. Oh, you got your lunch time. You was trying to eat lunch bit. all mad early no, in the morning. I, I put it a little bit early. <laughs> I guess that brings us to date. <laughs> Are you looking forward to tea time today? Yes. Maybe I'll show you a little bit of tea time slash study time today. But really, the goal of our study time is not to check off a whole lot of boxes. It's just to get in good practice um, focusing. Focusing on just sitting down, blocking out the noise, and focusing on growing in any given area. So that's kind of what our tea time is about, and we're really looking forward to it. We have it scheduled to be around 2 o'clock, which seems to be... It might be a sweet spot for us given our extracurricular activities that we are involved in um, and the fact that we wanted to give the first portions of our day to working on our projects, Falco family projects and all of those things. You guys are coming along with us as we feel this out and walk in the unknown excited about what is ahead. I feel like a little mini commercial every time I try to... <laughs> Every time I try to give you a little elevator pitch and tell you a little bit more about our gap year, but that is the goal That is the plan anyway um, Yeah, so we're gonna get to it start outlining and defining specific projects slash goals uh, Talking to them about what they are reading lately I'm gonna do this little mama's hair right here because that didn't get done this morning and I will check in with you in a little bit. Vanna is writing while the boys are doing Legos and we're watching shop class. Hi. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, I'm now in charge of the camera equipment and I just changed the battery. Mommy wants me to get more comfortable in front of the camera so I can communicate better. All of the awesome ideas and things that he shares throughout the day, I want him to be able to communicate himself. See how tall I am? Whatever. See? See? <laughs> See? So my first order of business right now is 
just kind of going through all of our resources. I mean, everything wasn't completely cleared out, but just kind of continue decluttering, like the decluttering process. I have all of our little stuff that I need to go through and like clean out and clear out and sort through. So first I'm gonna start with this little science bin. And then stuff like this. We got this new telescope and we haven't really used it yet. So I need to go ahead and get the instructions, get it set up so that when they're ready to use it, it's ready to go and I don't have any delay. This is what I'm doing right now while they continue to watch shop class. This is her writer face. You better type, girl. All right, friends, it's tea time. So, Savannah is helping me get started with tea today, and I am getting ready to get my board started for our study uh, time. So, I just take my cart. I'm getting the kettle. Fill <laughs> my cart right in here, just so that I have everything that I need right next to me. And now your friend is gonna do one of her favorite things in homeschool in life, which is write on the mirror. <laughs> I don't know what it is about writing on mirrors and windows that makes me happy inside, but it just makes me happy inside. So, um, <laughs> I love this girl. she is so funny. I've been struggling today, y'all, because, <laughs> like I said, we have moved closer and closer to being 100% digital. Like, that is the goal for us because there's that's a whole different story. Um, of reasons why I believe in a digital homeschool life. Um, but we are so close to being 100% digital. Um, and today was really frustrating. It was really, it has been really challenging because until you get to that sweet spot in digital, in the digital world, there's a bunch of little challenges that you can come to that are really frustrating to push through. So today, um, I think I already said this, that I got a new iPad for organizing business and homeschool life. And now I'm trying to sign into everything and make sure that everything is set up to the correct Dropbox and all of that stuff. And it can be really, really frustrating, um, especially if you have a device that's not properly charged or if you have like an account that's not loading correctly, it can be really, really irritating. But I know this. <laughs> I've been here before and so I'm going to keep pushing through because once we hit that sweet spot and everything is aligned properly and we get right into our modes everything will be good also that I have learned over the years some tips and tricks and things um, to help me not get so stuck when stuff like that happens so um, we do have like a notebook that we're using this year just in case our digital life fails us. Um, and we are using a sketchbook, of course, for art things, um, and we're using a journal. So that is always an option for when our digital things are failing us for the day and we it is really messing up our flow. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these up on the mirrors. Also, if y'all's kids watch these vlogs, <laughs> and you don't want them writing on your mirrors and your windows, now would be the time for you to cover their eyes so that they don't end up doing that in your house, okay? It is now tea time. Our kettle is ready, so... I start making the tea while they start getting focused. Hey cuties, Cameron, hi. <laughs> that your mom gets to be your teacher, you get to be home all day, and that you can listen to music while you do your math. <laughs> 
we don't recommend that though. Not everybody is able to do that. I definitely can't do that. Do what? Listen to music while I do my math. Oh, you mean you don't, you're not, I can't read while I'm listening. I know, we know. We know. I have superpowers. Oh. About your interesting abilities. <laughs> We have nine divided by three, Savannah is? Good. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Now let's hope they don't all end up on the floor. Our study time went well today, and now we're moving on to dinner because I lost them. We didn't completely finish everything we wanted to put our hands to, but again, this is our gap year. The goal is not to check off a whole lot of boxes. The goal is to just be disciplined and diligent in our study time. So, um, I'm all greasy up here, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, friends, sorry, not sorry. Um, what was I saying? So now we moved on to dinner. Um, Kendall has been, we've been trying to get in a cooking lesson every week. The goal is for him to observe, to it's write so down. Hard. This is the first one with her. The goal is for him to observe, for him to write down the recipe, and for him to study the recipe so that he can make that item, that dish, all by himself the next time around. So this time we're doing quiche because it's super easy. And super delicious. Yes, it's super delicious. Kendall. Yes. You whisking? Yes. Kendall. Yes. You like it? Yes. Kendall. Yes. Where's your chef hat? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Alright friends, that's it for the day. My camera is acting up. It'll be red one moment and blue another moment and all of that jazz. Focused, unfocused, whatever it's deciding to do today, I'm not here for it, okay? So, um, the kids are currently watching a show before it's time for extracurriculars. Cameron has soccer savannah has soccer kendall and i just finished our cooking lesson so he's going to do a bit of a write-up for our little cookbook um and i'm going to go take a quick little walk outside so that i can clear my mind and get ready for some planning time i like want to plan and journal and just write down like little notes and things so far in my day um before I get to like the end end of the day and get overwhelmed by not having written anything down just yet. So um, I need to wash, clear. we need to clean the fish tank. We have a whole bunch of like little things to do. Um, but I really just want to, I really just want to journal today and figure out like where I am with my thoughts and feelings and ideas and stuff. Cameron did say, he was like, uh, this was a really, really good first day of gap year. So that always makes me really happy. That means that he gets the point. He knows where we're going with this and it's going to be a good 365. Okay, friends. So, um, I'm going to go now. Okay. <laughs> because I'm tired and I want to try and start to unwind and unpack at least this part of the day so far. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn and I will see you on day two. I don't know if this is gonna be a daily, daily thing, if this is gonna be a weekly thing, if it's gonna be a monthly thing. Your friend is hold on documenting, okay? Um, yeah, and we'll just see how it goes. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.